हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास चिल्ड्रन प्लीज स्टे होम एंड स्टे सेफ आर यू ऑल रिमेम्बरिंग वॉट ऑल थिंग्स वी लर्न इन आवर लास्ट क्लास यस वी कवर्ड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वट वॉज दैट इट वॉज अबाउट पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स यस पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स हेल्प अस टू ब्रिंग क्लैरिटी टू आर सेंटेंसेस which are punctuation marks we dis- we learned yes we learned full stop then exclamation mark then question mark comma apostrophe inverted commas yes i hope everybody understood all these punctuation marks now we are moving on to the next session of our lesson that is capital letters you all know about capital letters when we studied about sentences we learned that always a sentence should start with a capital letter but children let me ask you only in the beginning of a sentence we have to use a capital letter is it so no it is not like that so we need to see in which all places we have to use capital letters are you ready for that yes have a look into the board yes the name of our lesson is punctuation and capital letters children the first instance where we have to use capital letters it is in the beginning of a sentence we know that always a sentence should begin with a capital letter see the first one i have written an example for you Reka is my sister. You know that that is a sentence, isn't it? So the first letter of a sentence should always begin with a capital letter. Reka R. It is beginning with a capital letter. That is the first instance. Now second one. You all know about pronouns, isn't it? Can you recall some pronouns? Ah yes, he, she, it, they, I. Ah, all these are pronouns. Out of these pronouns, there is a special person. See, I. Wherever we are using the pronoun I, it should be written in capital letters. Even if it is in the beginning of a sentence, even if it is in the middle of a sentence, wherever it is, the pronoun I should be written in capital letters. You know these things. is a new information for you always keep this in your mind now the third instance see these words ram sita kerala red fort april sunday all these are what they are they are yes they are proper nouns they are proper nouns whenever you are writing a proper noun that proper noun should start with a capital letter it was a easy way to identify a proper noun when we learned about proper noun we have studied this rule isn't it yes proper nouns will be starting with a capital letter so that is the third instance where we are using capital letters so clear about the three points now fourth one see this with the lifted feet hands still and poised and down the hill do you remember this for Yes, downhill on a bicycle. Did you see? Both the letters are written in capital letters. Why? Yes, children, keep in your mind every new line of a poem. Every new line of a poem will be starting with a capital letter. Every new line of a poem will be starting with a capital letter. You can take your English textbook and turn the pages and see the poem. You will understand this thing. So every new line of a poem will be starting with capital letters. That is the fourth situation where we are using capital letters. Now next one, see fifth one, the iron beam. Do you remember this lesson? The iron beam. Yes, if you take our English textbook, there is one lesson called iron beam. That is the name of a lesson. So whenever we are writing any important headings. whenever we are writing any important headings the main words will be 
starting with the capital letter. That is the next instance where we are using capital letters. So, so many things are there, isn't it? Now the next one. See this? Oh, alas, wow. All these are interjunctions. We will be studying about interjunctions in the coming lessons. So, whenever we are writing these expressions, the first letter will be always in capital letters. That is the next instance. Now, see the last one. The teacher said, be quiet. When we studied about inverted commas, we studied a situation like this, isn't it? So, whenever we are writing something with an inverted commas, it should be beginning with a capital letter. You understood about the various instances where we have to use capital letters? Yes, these are the situations where we have to use capital letters. Clear about that? Now, after studying all these things, we need to revise something. We need to do some exercises. Are you ready to do some exercises? If you are ready, all of you please take page number 10 in your grammar book. Page number 10 in your grammar book. So in that page number 10, we have first situation that is first exercise given. Let us try some exercises. So I am rubbing these. The first question given is, let us try. Did you see page number 10? Let us try. Yes, please take your textbook, grammar textbook. Write the following words using apostrophe. So we studied about apostrophe in the last class, isn't it? So you are remembering about apostrophe also. So there are a few questions given. First one is the years of an elephant. So we have studied that we will be using apostrophe to write to write short forms. How we can write this in the short form? Can you just guess? Yes. The ears of an elephant. See the answer? The elephants. A T apostrophe S. Elephants. Ears. The elephants. Ears. You understood how to use apostrophe? Now next one, second question we have, please listen, a class of students. See, this is a special instance, a class of students. How we will write? Yes, students class. Students, whether it is singular noun or a plural noun. Yes, it is a plural noun. Students. More number it is there. Well, not one student. Students. So, how will we write the short form? See, a class of students. Students class. S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S. Students class. Where we will put this apostrophe? Students. Already it is a plural noun. So, no need to add one more S. But the apostrophe will be after S. The apostrophe will be after S. Teachers class. Teachers. T-E-A. Teachers. Teachers class. So when we are writing a plural noun with the apostrophe in its short form, the apostrophe will be after that S. So clear about those things? Now, three more questions are there. Can you please do it as homework? Yes, you can do it as homework, isn't it? Now, shall we move to the next exercise? If you take page number 11, page number 11, you can see that writing corner is there. In that A, B, C. Three sessions are there. Three sessions are there. First one, rewrite the sentences using capital letters wherever required. Rewrite the sentences using capital letters wherever required. See the first question. Did you see? Did you see? Yes. Tarun lives in America. 
how we can change this see tarun that is a proper noun any other proper nouns america that is also a proper noun so it should be starting with capital letter see the answer yes t tarun the starting and also a proper noun t should be in capital letters tarun lives in america a should be in capital letters so clear see the second question the oysters water park is closed on thursdays where are we have to use this capital letters yes always a sentence should begin with a capital letter so t should be in capital letter then where is yeah oysters water park that is a proper noun o should be in capital letters any other proper nouns thursdays thursday is a proper noun so t also should be in capital letter see the answer the oysters water park is closed on thursdays clear yes now you have three more questions in that exercise please complete that as homework now we have the next question insert commas wherever need required insert commas wherever required in the following sentence that is exercise b in page number 11 see the first question he replied i have no idea what you mean where we have to put the comma yes when we are when we are telling something in inverted commas when we are putting something in inverted commas that should be separated with a comma isn't it yes see the second question do you have my number yes i have so you remember when we studied about comma with the expressions yes no we will be separating it with a comma do you have my number yes comma i have isn't it clear the usage of comma okay now three more questions are there for you as homework now one more exercise is there what is it put inverted commas wherever required inverted commas you are remembering about inverted commas see this my father said to me you need to hurry up when we are telling the exact words of a person we will be using inverted commas here my father said to me you need to now is it is now it is correct isn't it you need to hurry up next one the teacher said you don't need to worry raghav the teacher said you don't need to worry raghav the exact words of the teacher so where we have to yes these are the exact words of the teacher isn't it yes now three more questions are left that you can practice as homework so clear about this punctuation marks and capital letters yes so ensure to use all these things when you are writing a sentence so that your sentence will be a perfect one okay children see you in the next grammar session thank you